I do that? I don't know if this is going to work. I size down this pond. <gasps> oh my gosh, it's working! It really is working! <laughs> Again, um, we're starting a brand new series on the channel um, all about exploring the farming mods and all of the um, gardening things that you can add to your game um, to make gardening and farming um, more realistic in The Sims um, or at least more enjoyable. Um, so we have uh, several custom traits, some aspirations, um, some new woodworking things, uh, tons and tons of harvestables. Um, obviously, we won't be able to fit them all in one video. This will be a series. We're going to do several videos. Um, today, we're going to focus on just checking out some of the new traits, um, looking at the aspiration, because the aspiration things will be carried through um, with uh, several videos, and we're going to plant all of our custom harvest. So let's take a look and see what's happening. Hey, um, so this is Nyla. This will be our um, sim that we check out all of this stuff. And I totally discovered something amazing, which maybe everybody already knew, but I didn't. So when you go into de the debug menu, and we'll just let her fish for a little while. Um, so when you go into the debug menu and you pull out this pond, you can size it down. I had no idea that you can do that. Um, so let me just show it to you real fast. Um, so let's just see, I typed in fishing. Oh, I might have to turn hidden objects back on. V.show hidden objects. Oh, except for I'm typing it down here instead of in the control C menu. And Okay, apparently you can't copy it, so I'll type it again. <laughs> Hidden objects, perfect. Okay, we will close this and then type in fishing like I started to fishing. Okay, fishing hole. Oh, good lord. Hole, hole, yes, please go. No. Uh,. Why, 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 why? VB dot show hidden objects. Okay, so that should be on. Fishing. Oh, cool. Oh, there we go. Good lord, why are you not working? Okay, so this is the size that that fishing hole comes out. Like, it's huge. It's huge. And I was like, oh man, I wonder if I can make this smaller because I had it over here. I tried it on the edge. Like, nothing was working. So I sized it down. And oh. Look. It totally works. Isn't that amazing? Okay. So if you didn't know that you can do that, you totally can. So that's incredible, and everybody should do it. So Nyla's over here fishing. Um, so let's just take a look at some of the things that are happening, some of the things that we have downloaded. So first of all, just yesterday, um, the Homesteader trait was released. Um, and in the description below, I will link to the people who created them, as well as links to actually download them yourselves. Um, this was actually created because I would love to give them a shout out and I didn't write it down. Um, so let's just look that up real quick. Um, okay. Um, let's see. I know it was like first one on Mod the Sims is where I downloaded it. And it's the aspiration. Um, I think that a lot of new creators have been creating new um, aspirations and traits because there was some sort of update. Um, so that's created by Just Jones. So there was some sort of update to like the creation system. Um, and I haven't looked at it, but apparently 
it was either made easier or it was made more user friendly or I mean something was updated that made it possible. Um, so in the homesteader trait, uh -huh. let's go, or this is an aspiration. Let's look at everything that you need to do. So fledgling frontiersman, so cute. You need to catch 10 fish, reach level three in gardening, um, reach level five in fishing, then harvest a plant 20 times. And that's promising pioneer. I love the names on these, so cute. Savvy settler, reach level seven gardening skill, reach level seven fishing, evolve 10 plants, and hot shot homesteader. Max gardening skill, um, this probably is supposed to say max fishing skill. Um, harvest 12 unique plants and catch 12 unique fish. So that's really exciting. I love that a lot. And it's under the eco-friendly um, section. So my guess is the fact that they named this eco-friendly, that maybe they are um, planning to make a couple more that will go under this aspiration um, menu, I guess. Because they could have just put it under nature um which i mean maybe that's not possible i don't know anything about making custom aspirations custom traits nothing like that um okay so cool she's reaching two in her fishing that's perfect um oh shoot did i switch her aspiration no don't do that <laughs> no we want this to be her aspiration okay um, and then we also have all three of her traits are completely different, okay? So from the homesteader aspiration, she receives this eco-friendly um, trait. And it says, these sims prefer a lifestyle of energy, conservation, recycling, and sustained... Oh, no, she, she got the green thumb one. Sorry. The eco-friendly is a completely different trait, and we'll look at it in just a second. So green thumb, um, these sims have a way with plants and build gardening skill faster than other sims. Awesome. So then she also got the actual green thumb modded trait um, I gave her. I gave her the farming trait, which is new, and um, eco-friendly. So eco-friendly and the green thumb one have been out for a little while. Um, eco-friendly, I watched another simmer do a video on it, and it was pretty interesting. Um, I didn't download the recycling um, bins or anything for this house, um, but... Ah. Okay, so let's have, but it's, you know, I think that it's going to be really fun with the laundry stuff. The eco-friendly um, trait does require the laundry pack. Um, so let's go and have her start planting all of these. Um, so you'll also notice that I have a ton of custom harvestables, as well as a reskin um, by Brazen Lotus of um, the base game and custom harvestable um, skins. And so when they get watered and they grow they look different they look more realistic and it's one of my favorite things um one of my favorite things um, brazen lotus has also made a sprinkler mod which we'll look at in a different um, video but for this particular house i wanted it to be more eco-friendly um not waste a lot of water by um having sprinklers okay so the eco-friendly trait says these sims prefer a lifestyle of energy conservation recycling and sustained eating they become happy when gardening prefer showers over baths and will use the clothesline over the dryer personality trait okay so let's look at what she's getting over here so from being a farmer she's happy um from being a farmer she's happy here and replenishing the earth um is from the eco-friendly okay so what does this say Mother Nature depends on eco-friendly sims to be a steward of the land. That's pretty cool. So that's from the eco-friendly trait. Um, and from the farmer trait, she's learned a farmer loves to catch fish for his or her family. Nice. Um, a farmer, um, nothing better than a farmer who takes care of a garden. <laughs> How cool is that? I love that a lot. Okay, so let's look at the farmer. Um, this sim lo lives on a farm, loves to grow food, fish by the water, and take care of animals awesome green thumb these sims love plants and enjoy spending time tending their garden their garden or their green thumb makes them natural gardeners giving them an increase to the gardening and herbalism skill so she ha i have put in a couple of the herbalism plants that were fitting for gardening um not just for herbalism um there also was a new trait um or new aspiration that i saw um, called apothecary which we might look at a little later um, maybe 
we'll add in like a spouse for her or something that will go into apothecary stuff. Um, I'm going to speed her up just a little bit so that we can get everything planted in here. Um, so I did download, um, you know, a new lettuce. I downloaded some spinach. I got um, all the multicolored carrots um, as well as the tomatoes um, that are custom harvestables. And like I said, all of the links will be in the description below. And I wonder if these are too close together. Like, she's not going to be able to plant them. We'll just see. She really screwed up um, <laughs> the beauty of my garden. <laughs> I had this looking really nice. I put everything perfectly spaced apart. And she was like, I do what I want. So <laughs> now this is a mess. Like, what in the world? Apparently, having a green thumb doesn't give you anything for your, like, organization of anything. It's so funny. Okay, so I'm going to have her change clothes real fast just because I want to take a look at how the... Um, um, how the eco-friendly trait... Um, reacts with her um, using the clothesline and the wash bin. Okay, so that should have went into her clothes bin, which it did. Perfect. So why don't you come do laundry in the wash tub? Oh, she's talking to the plants. How cute. That's cool um, that she talks to the plants. I like it a lot. Okay, so we can take a cute uh, little tour of the house, too. Um, so I tried to keep this real eco-friendly. Um, obviously, this is the kitchen, little sitting area. Then the bathroom and her bedroom. It's really simple. We have a woodworking table back here. Here's the wash bin. And, of course, the clothesline. Okay, so... Oh, this is making her happy because she's saving energy. How exciting is that? Um, so that's from the eco-friendly treat. So from washing laundry in the wash tub. The washing machine washes clothes more quickly, but the wash tub uses no electricity. So she's getting fitness skill from this, which I think is a nice um, addition to the game. Um, and she seems to really be enjoying this. I love it. Things that would normally make them like tired and stuff. She's like, I love doing this. Okay, so after she's done washing these, we'll have her hang them on the line. And then it looks like we're going to need to let her go to the bathroom. Okay, so let's unload and hang on the clothesline. Oh gosh, washing in the wash bin takes a long time. I don't do this very often. It is like a really cool interaction. It's funny to me that every single um, thing that she washes on the washboard happens to be green. Like, I mean, most of the clothes outfits that I put her in are green. Um, greens and browns, but, I mean, how is it that every single thing in her laundry is green? It's very confusing. Okay, so hurry up and do that. You need to go to the restroom. Then we need to get these plants watered and see if we can get them to grow. Ugh, I love the clothesline so much. Like, it's one of the most beautiful things ever. <laughs> it just is. Okay, so I mixed and matched a lot of the stuff from um, Jungle Adventure with a lot of the stuff from Parenthood. Um, and I think that it works really well together. Her regular rooms, like her main rooms, are small and conservative and they you know just kind of i wanted everything to feel like she could have bought it at a yard sale or she could have made it herself and i think that you know we accomplished that okay so she's gonna water all the plants out here we'll speed her up um i just want to take a look at everything as it grows I'm going to see how we're doing with all of that. Um, let's see if she's gotten anything. Wash out arms. Oh, no. 
Keep scrubbing through the pain. Oh, goodness. I didn't know that you got that. Okay, so she still has the happiness from replenishing the earth and from farming with the gardening, so that's nice. She's watering everything. That's really nice. I wish that we could put the clothesline near the garden and it actually water the plants. Because look at it dripping. Like, how nice would that be? How nice would that be? Okay, so these are all the tomatoes, I think. Yes. I don't... Oh, no. I think that that one was in this line. Okay, so we're going to try and organize these a little, maybe? I don't know how possible that's going to be. She really messed this up. What are these? The carrots? Ooh, normal purple carrots. We have our lettuce, our mushrooms. These are way messed up, but that's okay. Oh, here's our other carrot. <laughs> uh, maybe we could put the carrot right here. I don't know. We'll put the mushrooms over here. Spinach, lettuce, and kale. Okay, that seems like it should go together. Um, parsley, here's our mushrooms. We got our morel mushrooms, our regular mushrooms, basil, um, garlic. We'll put this over here. Look at, we have our onion plant. That's a huckleberry. There's our potato. I don't know why I say huckleberry like that. What is this? Okay, so blackberry vines need to go there. What is this? Sage. Okay. Um, the dragon fruit. Strawberry. Huckleberry. Elderberry. Uh-oh. Now they're dry. That's not exactly what we were going for, is it? Da, 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 da. How is it that this has happened? Were we supposed to put one more on each end, maybe? Maybe that's what I messed up. Okay. That works. Okay, cool. So I think it's okay. <laughs> They're still like a little mixed, missed up. Mixed up. Mixed up. Messed up. Mixed up. Messed up. Okay, so let's see um, how she feels about taking a shower. And she really wants to catch 10 fish. Take a shower. So I think that taking a shower, it seemed like in the description that she might get some sort of buff from taking a shower. Mm. Oh, yep. Yeah. Saving water. <laughs> Conserving water is something all Sims should do, whether they live in arid desert or a lush jungle. Oh, how cool is that? Okay, so she's going to read some more. It seems like what she's into. <laughs> Um, let's go take a look at the woodworking table also. So let's make a knife block. I have so many mods for farming, self-sufficiency, and everything that I really want to show you. This is going to be a lot of fun to go through all of these. Um, so I have downloaded several um, custom furniture items that you can um, make with the wood table. Oh, look. A farmer loves woodworking around the house and crafting their ideas. Oh my goodness. How cool is that? Uh -huh. Rebalfa. Oh my wow. gosh. I love oh. this so much. Uh -huh. um, but so I downloaded all of those custom furniture um, pieces that you can create in the woodworking table. So we'll be able to create things like beds and even like toys for toddlers um, and everything uh -huh. that makes you like the ability, that gives you the ability to be self sufficient. I've also downloaded um, several pieces that uh, will allow us to um, hmm. like sell those things. So um, different, hmm. like basically kind of like farmer's markety mods. Um, and so we'll look at each of those individually hmm. um, in separate videos. So I'm gonna speed her up a little bit. Uh, yep. Yay, we made our first block. Um, she's going to eat some yogurt, it looks like. Uh -huh. Okay. Oh, she was uh -huh. starving. 
Okay, come out here and talk to our plants. Let's talk to our plants because we're very focused. We're having a good time. And good. So she's going to go to bed focused. Perfect. We'll zip through this and then see some of the plants coming up. Oh, I'm so happy. Oh, yes. Perfect. This is exactly what I wanted for you guys all to see all of the plants and the reskins. Um, oh, yay! They're all coming up! Okay, so, I mean, why don't you cook something? Why don't you make a little garden salad, and then we'll go back out to the garden and check out life. I really love this new refrigerator and stove um, from Jungle Adventure. Ah, oh, so, so pretty. Ugh. Okay, so while she's doing that, let's look at all of the plants so that you guys can see um, how the reskins look and what plants look like what, okay? Um, so these are the carrots. So this is the purple carrot, um, the normal carrot, and then we have another normal carrot. Uh, no, I don't want those earbuds. Um, one of these should be a yellow carrot, and then one should be an orange carrot, okay? Um, so I guess that only the purple one says what it is? Hmm. Okay. Um, and then these are all the tomato plants. So this is a green one. This is a normal one. Um, this one's also normal, apparently. And normal. So <laughs> we have a green one, orange, yellow, and, um, red, regular. Um, so hopefully those all came out. Oh no, your fruit is gross? Oh, well, clean it up. I'm sorry you're unhappy, honey. Why don't you come out here and water? Okay, so one of my favorite skins in the game is the Blackberry. Um, she did, this is for, by Brazen Lotus, of course, the reskin. Um, and she did the same thing with her raspberry plants that are downloadable, but I didn't download those. Um, so this is the Blackberry. This is what dragon fruit looks like. I'm so happy it's on a cactus. It's so beautiful. Um, the strawberry plants grow on the ground, which is exactly how they should be. Um, the huckleberries are in a bush. Um, elderberries also. And then this is a little grapevine, which I love. Um, and the garlic and onions look very similar, which I also like. Did she water these? I guess they're already dry. Um, and then the trees, they all look a little bit different. But not a huge, there's not a huge difference in the trees um, from what they look like normally. <laughs> and I just am so, so excited about all of that. Um, so let's go ahead and put your laundry away because you're so good. I love how they just magically go away. It's so funny. Um, but, okay, so then here's all the lettuce. So this is the reskin for spinach, okay? So this is what spinach looks like with the reskin. And then, um, I also downloaded the custom lettuce and kale, which is just beautiful. I love it a lot. Okay, so she's inspired from literature. She still has all of these farming things. Um, so let's have her go over here and fish. Go fish, friend. We'll go fast and just see if any of this stuff comes up for harvest. Okay, so, oh, she's feeling lonely. Don't be lonely, honey. Replenishing the earth is still a thing, farmer. Farmer and inspired by literature. Let's see what else is going on in here. We've got guppies. I'm so happy about being able to resize this pot, this uh, fishing hole. Okay, so let's take a look at the plants. It doesn't look like anything's happening over here. They're all just chilling. Um, I think that the reskin by Grave Brazen Lotus on the um, garlic makes it so that it no longer has that like aroma thing coming off of it, which is really nice because, you know, I want it just in my life as an herb um, and a spice rather than having to look at it be weird and floaty 
Because <laughs> you know it's got that like smelly symbol over it. Um, there are a few other things that I want to talk about in some later videos, so make sure that you stay tuned for those. Um, we will showcase um, some of the tips and tricks that I have um, about gardening, um, some things that I've discovered that you can use to um, enhance your gardening experience, I guess, um, and ensure that your plants are easier to maintain, um, as well as what plants I think are most important. Um, one of the things that I'm really on the eye for is something that will make it either easier or require um, eating like more of the stuff that you get from your garden. So I really want to have the ability to either only eat the stuff from your pocket, like the things that you harvest, and be able to get full from that and it be an autonomous action. Um, or I want to have more options for re your food requiring the things that you um, harvest. So it would be really nice if I could find a mod or um, somebody could recommend a mod to me that would make it so that when you harvest things all of your recipes take the things that you harvest like you know why when i make a fruit salad if i have 500 strawberries in my inventory does it not just use strawberries instead of money if that makes sense so i'm hoping that that's something that we'll be able to explore in the future um and i hope that you guys are really enjoying this series as you know, this is one of my favorite, favorite things to do in the game, um, and it's like the best way to play, in my opinion, um, <laughs> is to basically just live on your own and, you know, maintain your own property, um, and it's something that I'm really passionate about, and I hope that you guys are um, enjoying um, seeing all of the things that I discover to make that happen in the game um, and just keep watching we'll always be showing off new things um, obviously as this is a series we'll continue um, to do things with the aspiration the homesteader aspiration um, we'll probably take a look at the apothecary aspiration um, but I think that we're gonna go ahead and wrap up this video um, so Thank you guys so much for joining me. Um, I hope that you're enjoying this video as much as I am in creating this series. Um, and we will take a look at some other things um, in the future. Like I said, we have more things to look at with these aspiration, with the aspiration, as well as with the um, custom traits. Um, and be sure to check out the links below for the links to all of this CC and um, the shout out to all of the creators um, I appreciate you guys so much. Love you to pieces, and I'll check you later. Bye-bye.